The new Sung Janu job change looks amazing, but I want to ask you guys, what do you think is better, that or this design that it was supposed to be modeled after, but they obviously changed it quite a bit. You can see them side by side here. Mainly the skull mask is missing here for Sung Janu. Maybe that'll be an alternate version of this costume. I don't know. Like, maybe that'll be a thing, but we're going to talk about the requirements to unlock this, and I'll give you guys some tips. So if you guys are new, I do so love your eyes content. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if this video is helpful also drop a like on it i'd greatly appreciate it share the video with your friends as well so that being said we do have these translations from a korean stream i believe earlier today and let's talk about it so a new job change quest for shun mizushino is here overcome the challenges and unleash your true abilities clear 35 obstacles in the trial battlefield player mode uh, so that's a little bit of wonky translation. Uh, so you have to clear 35 stages in the trials. So we'll get to that in a minute. Also, Sung Janu has to have a current power of 90,000. That's extremely easy. Um, but if you by chance are struggling, I'll give you some tips. You also need to clear Chapter 15 Hard Mode. Hard Mode Chapter 15. I think that's the Metis fight, uh, which makes sense why he also has that outfit. This outfit looks amazing, though. This art is awesome. Shout out to them for this. Job change reward, skill, Sonic Stream, skill rune, raid cut, and 30 ability points, and the skin, the Reaper skin. So let's go in and talk about some tips on reaching the power requirement, clearing 35, and Hard Mode 15. I think Hard Mode 15 is going to be the main, like... 35 for trials. I haven't tried. I have not played trials in a while. In fact, I forgot to clear. Oh, I have some time. I was going to say, I forgot to clear this. I have a little bit of time. Maybe I'll remember to do that. Anyways, 35 is like, okay, that's just after where I stopped. 35 is a tricky fight. So with this one, I believe this guy drops the poison and stuff. Yeah. So this one is very, very problematic. We're going to go in in a second, but you have to clear it. I don't think you have to get all of these conditions done, but if you can clear it, you probably are able to get those conditions done anyway. So we're going to go in and we'll talk about which characters to bring once I see his play style very briefly here. But this is a nice segue to say, how are you guys enjoying the game? I asked you guys previously this on the other video that I did yesterday titled... Oh no, and I saw a lot of interesting opinions on that, whether people were enjoying the game, dropped the game early, that's kind of how gotchas are though, regardless of anything else, that's kind of how gotchas are, people just kind of feel a lot of different ways about it, so that's why I wanted to gauge your interest. So let's see how he plays, oh this is the one where he flies up, he shoots the poison, yeah, he shoots the poison, he flies around, this is a problematic fight for the most part, but the main issue with this guy is the debuffs, so when it comes to fighting this guy, Clearing the debuffs off with skills like Ice Body Armor there are going to be extremely useful. He also has a break gauge, so you are going to want to have break skills on. I want to also see really quickly if the... And he drops the stupid tornadoes. I want to see if this skill works here really well. Eh. I kind of missed the timing on that. I want to, I want to try it one more time here. Um, I wanted to see how that, how that works, like a, a counter skill with him like flying around. Okay, so counter on that, on the poison. Okay. It was not the worst. It shot me to him. Yeah, it shot me to him. The freeze there. So Alicia's going to be one of the better characters to use as a sub here because the freeze and the clearing. Fly to me, bro. I want to see how this looks. Is he just going to miss all of them if you fly to me? Here it is. Oh, okay. So maybe he got hit by the wall, but it does apply a stun, so it might work the way I would want. All right, so let's get out of here. I've seen enough of this fight to kind of explain what you need to do because i mean that's it's not it's not a crazy fight it's just a hacks fight right like he's he's got a lot of hax on so let's go into 35 again and your first try you may you may fail it you may not but like i said alicia regardless of power uh she's going to be one of the better characters to take just because the ice body armor clear on the skill here so very nice grant shield removes debuffs speaking of removes debuffs tried and true you could bring in our girl here she's going to be very nice with the breeze uh effect also and then also when the skills use removes debuffs on your team members so you get the ultimate damage up she she may be more valuable just because it helps your ultimate hit harder while alicia herself could potentially do some hacks with the freezing so there's that i mean that's more or less what you're looking at now outside of that you would like to have some support slash uh breaking on your team i'd consider Wu Jinchul. if you are struggling with avoiding this guy Wu Jinchul would be one of your best friends because he's got break he also increases the maximum number of dashes so that's very 
very good. So he's one of the characters I would use. Also, uh, Emma, excuse me, she's a solid breaker for this stage if you wanted to use her. Also can help you with tankiness if you happen to be struggling with survivability, if you've got enough dupes on her to where her emissions and stuff are applying to the team. Uh, so that works pretty well. Actually, I think it re applies to Janu regardless, right? I'd have to go through a kit. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm not so sure. Outside of that, if you're looking to do more damage, some characters you can bring would be... I was going to say BB. B Beck. That's where the double B was. B Beck for the break and defense down. But the tried and true men... You know what a good setup would be? Men, Alicia, and and um, Malin for damage, for clearing. But it puts a lot of pressure on Sung Janu to have probably pulverize Rune on or Blessing Stone on. And then puts a lot of pressure on him to get the breaks so i would probably at least have one extra breaker like i said like a wujin chul on your team in terms of shadows uh don't run Karglagon as your main <laughs> don't do that uh this is what you're doing that there you go this is basically the shadow setup no matter what uh aside from when you're using like alicia then you can do that but the other two pretty much don't change so that's what I would recommend. Now, let's get out of here, and we'll go to the power thing. But again, before we proceed, make sure you hit that thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it. The support on the channel is uh, it's going really well, so thank you so much. I appreciate it. So the job change, it seems like they've got a pretty low barrier to entry. I feel like this one may have been a little bit more tricky on release. Uh, maybe <laughs> because level 70 or 70,000 was maybe a little tricky if you didn't have like duped out weapons or like min maxed artifacts and it came shortly after the launch of global launch or at the same time. Right. Uh, so anyway, so an easy way to get your power up is to use high level slash high rarity. High rarity has higher level as you see here. Um, high level artifact sets, a cheap budget option would be to use those summer sets they're at 65. So if you if you got these and they're basically proxy like this is this is the leather set effect just on different accessories. So basically, yeah, if you've got uh, these 65 ones leveled up to 20, uh, that's one of the things you can do. You use those. I wouldn't recommend using pretty much anything other than maybe the summer sets or the level 70 sets from the uh, basically the level 70 versions of like expert and stuff or like these guys here. I'm, I'm not using these because these these are solid analysis specifically is like damn near useless. In fact, it is useless because greed or burning greed has the effect from this built in. So it's literally useless. <clears throat> So uh, unless you don't have burning greed, I guess. So there you go. So yeah, high level stuff basically or 75s of the old stuff. That's what you're going for. Also, a way to cheese this is to use duped out weapons. That also could be an SR weapon. The reason why is because the stats go up, especially at level 100, obviously, by adding in the precision stat there. So precision gets added with the extra dupe, so that'll help you increase your power. But it really shouldn't be too hard to get above 90. Uh, that's, that's a pretty low benchmark overall. Put everything into strength. When you get these points from this job skill change as well, put everything into strength <laughs> thank me later blessing stones nothing else really matters you could go a little bit more in depth like leveling up these skills and stuff you could do all that to get more power but really it shouldn't be hard to get the power up when you have at least you don't even need like duped out weapons it's, it's largely artifacts that'll do it for you if they're decent artifacts level 15 to 20 uh good levels they'll be fine now let's get out of here go to hard mode which i recently started playing uh i had sat on it for the job change and i started pushing through this content as a as a piece to um to get the level up so 15 uh yeah it's the metis fight uh so this is wow i need to clear this <laughs> this is not a hard fight in particular uh, but the thing is, Westwind just destroys this. Like, <laughs> he's weak element based, or wind element weakness, excuse me. Uh, like, Westwind, Westwind just destroys this. Wasn't there, so I got into the Westwind train a little bit late. Westwind was nerfed prior to Global Launch or on Global Launch, one of the two. It was like de facto best weapon in the game. It still pretty much is. Um, but you could maybe argue a couple weapons, I guess. But anyway, wasn't this stage out, you know, when it had, before it got uh, nerfed, right? And it just destroyed this, like, even more? <laughs> so, I want to see Metis here. Basically, so this stage, you know what? What I'm seeing here is that this stage is very similar to the other stage. It's trying to overwhelm you with a horde, 
which is whatever. But it's also got a lot of hacks going on. So again, Alicia winds. Alicia, Alicia's like the best character for this period because of the freaking AOE and the clearing and the freezing. She's like the best character to bring as a support. Period. I don't care about types. Just Alicia destroys this, as you can see, right? Uh, so Metis is about to drop in if he hasn't already. No, he has not. Okay, let me just full bloom these guys. Okay, shadow step. It, he turned around and faced the opposite direction because the shadow step was available. Anyway, so this is hard mode. It, I mean, what was the power requirement on this? I feel like if you've got 90k power genu, you shouldn't really struggle with this. Maybe you can't clear all three. Ugh, stupid annoying stage with just the hacks. I'm not worrying about the hacks. So don't don't mind me. I'm just trying to push through this fast. I'm not playing strategically. But uh, what was I going to say? I feel like if you got 90,000 power genu, you'd probably beat this easily. So I wanted to see his specific gameplay. I think he sh like does an AoE, a big AoE move. Okay, that's whatever. Okay. Yeah, like he's throwing some some AoE. Oh, he, he summons. That's what it is. That's right. Yeah, knock it off. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. But I mean, Westwind should just destroy this guy. Especially after break. It should not be hard. I'm going to set that up. Oh, okay. I got caught in the AoE. <laughs> oh, and I didn't have daily quest completion on. <laughs> I messed around too much. <laughs> I forgot I didn't have daily quest on. I, I wasn't expecting to get caught in that AoE. Let's see if I can just, 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 just for the hell of it. I'm going to push through this really quickly here. All right. We're back. So the objective, oh, I don't have any breakers on my team. Oh, and he makes it dark. Oh, that's a nice little hacks. I was going to say the objective here is to break him fast. I might have to actually put a breaker on my team, though. I don't think I have to, but I probably should. It'll be 10 times easier if I do. I'm going to set that up. Okay, nice hit. I'll let my guys come in. Yeah, it'd be really nice if I didn't have to do all the breaking. It's a little bit early. I'm setting up some some stuff for when I win, but like it's still a little early. Ah, one dash a little early there. Let's bring Mele in back for the heals. Oh, he brought a summon in. That's cute. Doesn't really matter much. And there's the break finally. Or not? What the flying Nimbus? <laughs> I thought I had a dash. <laughs> I thought I had a dash. Oh my god. Hold on, we gotta put a breaker on, so I gotta do all the work. Alright, third time's a charm, baby. So the first one really don't count, but I'll I will cop to the second one. The second one does count. <laughs> So really, the the trick is to make sure that you have the daily quest. Apparently, that's the trick. Oh wow, little asshole! I was on, I was on him too. He freaking evaded at the last second. Yeah, having daily quest, I wouldn't have lost either of those. That's fine. I don't need the stun. Also, I would take that skill off. I just didn't want to change anything. <clears throat> yeah, I would one hundred percent take that skill off. You do not need it for this. Aha, baby. Oh, wait, I have. Oh, he's broken. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> Dude, the motion blur is going crazy here. Look at that. You can't even see Janu. What the hell? <laughs> okay, I'll take it. Can I win here? Oh, not even close. Not even close. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, let me set this up. Of course I dodged early. It's all right. We're about to win right here. Dude thinks he can make it dark and make that matter. And boom. Yeah. If I actually use Westwind like decently at all in this fight, <laughs> I'm done in 10 seconds. Not, not 10 seconds, but oh, we beat him before the freaking undead. <laughs> Get out of here. Get wrecked, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, so if you if you play it even halfway decently with Westwind, it doesn't 
there's he does, he can't there's like basically nothing he can do to West Wind. Uh, but I will tell you I will tell you this this fight specifically I playing it now it was made for the longsword because the longsword is able to deal with those hordes. But the problem with that is that the longsword is not really worth it's like if you've got the dupes in it it's a really good weapon. But if you don't, it kind of sucks. But it really gets good around the third dupe, right? But it was made for, like, so, like, you kind of notice that those story chapters, when you play them, especially, like, the first, like, 15 or so, uh, ironic, right, are made with the intention of you using a specific weapon there. So that way you feel pressured to go buy it. There's no way they intended for West Wind, basically any of these three SRs on this row. West Wind is in its own entire tier. It doesn't even compare to these other two in a good way. Uh, but there's no way they intended for these weapons to be that good. They didn't. There's no way. Because you could you could realistically use these three weapons and not use any of the other SR variants currently in the game and be fine. And that includes the newer weapons like the the Phoenix Soul or whatever it's called. I don't even own it. Uh, I actually like the Huntsman. It's, it's my favorite weapon in the game because of the status effects it implies, especially like, you know, that third dupe. That first dupe is mandatory, though, for the Sunder Break stuff. Um, it's my favorite. But, like, you could use this bow. You could. You could use the bow. So anyway, that's pretty much everything. Oh, the spear, by the way, also I hear is pretty solid. What are your thoughts on the spear? That's pretty much everything, though. It's, it shouldn't be too difficult to reach those requ uh, requirements. It's just 15 and then that. And then the power just is dependent on what you have equipped. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. All of this, I should have mentioned this earlier, will be coming out post-update, which I think is today. Oh, excuse me. I think it's today. So it should be coming out later on. So I'll see you guys all later. Come back later on tonight for content. I'll probably because we're gonna have Han Se Mi come out and then a week from today is when President Go will come out which is kind of annoying back-to-back -back hunters like that but regardless we're gonna be doing content so I'll see you guys there